Well, a very good afternoon to you and of course to our SABC News viewers. A very somber moment as friends, uh, family, uh, colleagues and comrades are gathered to send off a uh, Tia Homosenek. And of course, uh, some would know him from his days in student activism until, uh, you know, his untimely death last week, Wednesday. He's also the brother of the former Deputy Chief Justice, uh, Dihang Mosenek. There's a moving tribute by his children and also his wife saying that uh, she will carry him wherever he will go um, as well as his comrades I mean uh, it's no secret that the likes of the deputy president Paul Mashadila was a very close friend of his but also the likes of Dalim Ofu uh, who's an EFF member uh, just uh, some of them sharing they fond moments with him um, how they were incarcerated uh, together and how he fought against the draconian apartheid system uh, also saying that he was a man that really loved his movement who loved the ANC and until death, uh, but also uh, we heard there the deputy president imploring, especially those that come from his political home, the ANC, to say that in memory of uh, Mr. Diego Museneke, the movement really needs to unite and rally behind them. So these are just some of the sentiments uh, that came out of uh, this funeral. There's also a promise there by the former DCJ to write a book uh, in memory of Diego and his great exploits. Uh, by the time of his passing, uh, he was the father and controlling shareholder of the Encha group. Um, they also spoke about how he gave back uh, to, uh, you know, the poor and the downtrodden uh, within his community where he grew up in Atridgeville by forming uh, a foundation that actually helps uh, young students. Also saying that uh, he gave out a lot of bursaries and him and his work, his wife's work, uh, to ensure that schools are developed in and around uh, the area of Pretoria and around the country. So these are just some of the things that uh, was said about uh, this gallant fighter, a man who was described as a gallant fighter, a man who was described as a patriot. He loved uh, his country, not only his country, but the ANC, and a man who actually spoke so much about renewal. Uh, but of course, uh, with that said, uh, it's back to you in studio.